Yeah, yeah, yeah. All right. I think this is episode nine. Look at that horse was eating. Oh, what's he doing? Eating some grass. Um, episode nine. I guess I'll just go ahead and announce the uh, the other game going to be cross playing. Yes, it's called the Night of the Rabbit. I think something along those lines. And that is the original game that I said I would be playing next, because it has no voice acting, I think. I hope so. A lot of subtitles. We are, it's kind of similar to like a storybook. Like a very, uh, hmm, hard to explain. Anyways, that's going to be the next one. I expect that in a few days. And okay. Look at that scarf up there. It's Harry's. From Harry Potter. Did I pick that thing up? I did. Okay. Shrapnel shell remnants. Shrapnel shell remnants, a shell containing lead bullets. Depending on its settings, the shell might explode on contact with the ground, sending its contents flying or in the air for even more destructive results. So we got some socks. A comb. Yeah. That's it. Go heal people. Hey, I need help. Me too. Alright. Sounds good. Yep. Oh, I can go that way. Oh. September 7th, 1914. The situation is horrific here. <laughs> Yesterday I was in my warm, cozy apartment, and now I'm in the depths of hell. There are so many dead, so many young lives lost. I managed to save one soldier this morning, but there are so many others to tend to. Tomorrow, I'll try to get a closer look at the front so I can help those in most need. I am not reading correctly. Oh well. I'll iron it out eventually. Thanks for bearing with me. Can I... Nurse's manual. The war effort suddenly required a larger medical corps, and there were not enough qualified personnel. So manuals were published and distributed to health volunteers trained. The manuals provided a whole host of practical solutions to logistical and medical problems at the front, such as how to make a splint or stretcher using rifles and their straps. Uh, there was that horse that was eating, but he turned around and ate something. Oh. Berries. Okay. All right. He needs a lot. You need water. All right, I got you, man. Turn to the car. Aha! What is that? Mess tin with holes. Both dishes of this mess tin have holes in them. Not hugely practical for eating, perhaps, but life-saving for one soldier. The mess tin bag was worn at kidney height. When the shell exploded, this mess tin slowed down the searing hot shrapnel in fight, which, although it wounded the soldier, helped him live another day. Mess tins were blackened using smoke to prevent them glittering, glinting in the sunlight. Uh, cool. I'm getting your water, don't worry. Uh, yeah. Socks. Okay. Put that there. Grab some socks. Read the socks. Tallow socks. Socks soaked in refined tallow and coated with formal. Formal. The most effective way to beat the cold and damp. Frostbite and other ailments. That, at least was what the adverts had people believe. However, effective the socks were, the soldier's best friend was always a nice, dry pair. Hmm. Some dry socks. The Hecatome. The first three months of the war saw especially heavy losses. August 22nd, 1914 was the bloodiest day of the whole war, with heavy casualties. The numbers of wounded were far greater than 
had been anticipated, and the military held services struggled to cope with the scale of the conflict. Nurses. You need a saw. And I do not have a saw. There's a saw. But before I give it to you, I'm cutting down that tree. What is that scarf for? I don't know, I'll find out later. I'll grab it after this. Hold on to your butts. We're gonna have to cut your leg off, huh? She said, no, 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 just like me. arm. This is gruesome. Uh, oh, that noise. It's cutting like lettuce or something for the sound effect. But, <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... I thought it was going to give me a thumbs up. Everybody loves these thumbs up. That's my coffee. Oh, what? I didn't need to... I thought I was going to lose the, the saw. That's why I did that first. Oh, well. Let's get this a little closer. You need a sp okay. But first, let's switch out this water. Yes, 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 you are so thirsty. Here you go. Somebody needs this. But who? Is there something here? Oh! Ah! <laughs> Letter from a Persian soldier. 6th September 1914. My dear daughter, we are making headway through the French countryside. The landscape is beautiful. I'd much rather be enjoying it with you than killing people. I think of you all the time. Your father, Wolfgang. Wolfgang Puck. <laughs> it's probably just his last name because they're so formal with each other. Is that all that was for? For Wolfgang, Wolfgang's Puck. <laughs> Wolfgang Puck's recipe for British chili, Prussian chili, Prussian. Need across. Well, bruh. I need to.
Did you need help with something? I know, that guy needs a, a crutch, but I don't have a crutch. Ah! This work? Ten thousand more. Okay. Now who needs a beating? We go. Can I go faster that way? Hi. You need medical attention? Alright. Alright. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. No, no. I'm a terrible doctor. I broke his arm the wrong way, or his foot. I don't know what he's. What's broken on you? Oh yeah, there we go. Thank you, mother. Missy. Who else needs? Oh, is he alive? Oh, Jesus. <laughs> Alright, man. Guess I'm gonna break your- oh, no, I'm gonna... Stab you with a- Rubbing your arm like it's okay. I'm gonna poke you in. Oh, okay. That's chill. Getting rid of a bullet. She numbed it. And now she's pulling out a bullet. Do I get to see the bullet? Oh! <laughs> oh. Are you good? Thank you. Just kidding, he didn't say that. The French officers were talking about Belgium. The German army was about to experiment with a new weapon near Ypres. Ypres. Hometown. That's how you pronounce it. Ypres. Ypres.